Wow. Black fighter Travel Maison has passed away. And Golden Boy, his promoter, and the zone, the network he was fighting on, have yet to comment or post or announce the passing of one of their fighters. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, this is a different type of video. It's an unfortunate video that I bring. Bad news that there's a fighter, Travel Maison, who has passed away. Apparently, he was in some type of accident, and he has since passed. So I want to, you know, send my regards and my condolences to the family, any of the fans, friends affected by this tragedy. I don't know any other details. And, you know, it's just... 2020 has been a rough year. It really has it's been crazy with the passing of Roger Mayweather, the Black Mamba, original Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant, Black Mamba, and his daughter, and everybody on the helicopter. Now this, where people are stuck at home, scared, masks on. You know, we've had some bad news. Now, I want to tell you guys the backstory, and, and this is an important video that I felt like making. Because Golden Boy and DAZN, the promoter he was signed to, have yet to even say anything and announce it. And I want to um, explain how this came about. So I was on Twitter earlier today and I kept seeing certain people put like, oh, RIP, RIP. But all the tweets were really cryptic. They're, for some reason, everybody was using the nickname of Travel, And I wasn't familiar with it. His nickname was Black Magic, right? Black Fighter, Black Magic, you know, that was his nickname. So I wasn't sure who who people were saying rest in peace to. So I had to do research. So I went to Golden Boy thinking like, okay, because people I, I had enough clues on Twitter. Like some of the tweets said um, Golden Boy Fighter, Black Magic, RIP. And I'm like, like, what what's going on again? I wasn't, you know, foolish me. I wasn't familiar with the nickname. So I started doing digging and I went to Golden Boy and this is how this whole video came about. I'm just giving you guys a backstory. I went to Golden Boy. I went to popular boxing websites. I went to DAZN trying to figure out what happened. I, they kept saying Black Magic, RIP, RIP. And I seen a couple of people put it. This was early, early yesterday, you know, at the time of recording this video. Um, so I finally do research and somebody, you know, connected the dots for me and I found out who it was. And then I seen and I was like, OK, I seen him before because I remember he was a he was at 54, but he was pretty tall. He was a pretty tall kid, like six, two and a half or something fighting at 154. And I remember that Golden Boy had recently interviewed him. Like, I'll pull up his page so you guys can see. Right. So this is this was his Twitter, Black Magic. And you guys look, it says professional boxer signed to Golden Boy record of 17. Oh, undefeated. Right. From hailing from austin texas and he even has the golden boy logo and i remember that's what he looked like right i remember seeing right there may 27 when this quarantine came on they did an interview with him right so i was like oh wow you know r.i.p you know because it kind of connected the dots once i found out who it was but then i i started getting mad you know, because another life has, has left us. And then I started getting mad because I'm like, why was it so hard for me to be informed about what was going on? And then come to find out this was a golden boy fighter. And they just interviewed him May 27th. You could look on his social media feed and you'll see all these comments, people saying RIP. I was seeing it all throughout Twitter. But then when I go to golden boys, actual pages at the time of recording this video, there's been nothing said. So I started looking like, you know, maybe I'm bugging or whatever. And I went, I was like, man, maybe they're going to talk about it now. They posted this four hours ago. This is an interview with Chris Pearson. I think he was with Mayweather promotion. Um, you know, they did some kind of interview here. They're posting different stuff. So I was like, okay, you know, let me, let me check another social media feed. Instagram. Look, new post five hours ago so they posted this interview five hours ago and they posted it on twitter and they posted it on their instagram so i'm like what gives like why how come there's no mention of a fighter here's another post of senecia estrada 
You know, so I'm like, how 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 do they have a fighter who just lost his life and there ain't no information on it or, or anything? So I was like, let me check Oscar. Let me check Oscar. See what what Oscar's page. Nothing, nothing. No mention of this kid signed a golden boy from the golden boy himself. Oscar De La Hoya. I said, OK, let me go to the zone. You know, it, it, this is a fighter who just fought on the zone. You know, this should be there's it's a slow news week. You know, there's not too, too much news. Look, 16 hours ago. Man, this, this is this is. This is so hurtful. And then to make matters worse, I started thinking, I was like, man, like Travell, he just lost his life. And like you go, you look at like simple Wikipedia, you see, it says Travell Maison. And it already has the date. And I understand Wikipedia is not necessarily a thousand percent reliable, but you start connecting the dots and it looks like the unfortunate has happened. You know, even though Wikipedia, you know, some people can change it. But it says Travell Maison was an American professional fighter past ten, you know. So it's obvious that there was an accident. Right. And it blew my mind that Golden Boy, the promoter of this black fighter, 17 to 0, good record, high KO percentage. They just interviewed him. They just interviewed this kid in May as part of the pandemic. And I feel like, how don't you know of a passing of one of your fighters? But the streets know. They're, I just showed you, you know, people on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter all day have been talking about this. Yet Golden Boy has not released anything. Crazy. I'm crazy. And it just takes me back to the place when Errol Spence, when he was solicited by Oscar De La Hoya after his win over Mikey Garcia, he says, Oscar De La Hoya said, Errol Spence, congratulations on your victory again over Mikey Garcia. If you want to make real money, let me promote your fight on DAZN. So he solicited, you know, popular black American fighter. And this was Errol Spence's exact response. You don't treat black fighters well, brother. That's it. And then Oscar later deleted his tweet, but the, the internet had already got a hold of it. And I feel like it's things like this that come to people's mind and make some of Golden Boy's moves questionable. You have a fighter you just interviewed. So, you, you know, when he was alive, you just recently talked to him. And if my voice sounds a little bit shaky, it's because this this is really this is bothersome to me. Right. You have a fighter on your roster who unfortunately loses his life. Yet the network he was fighting on, his promoter, personal page, all the social media handles. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody except for the streets. I feel like that's wrong. Like boxing is a fraternity. And if the streets know about it, I would imagine, and I'm not going to put nobody on blast, but I know there's people with Golden Boy for a fact that know about this because one of the Twitter posts is from someone at a different level that works with Golden Boy and they were paying their condolences. But why would you not put it on the main page so the world could see and pay their respects to this young warrior? who, you know, had all the ambition. He, I just seen on his quarantine interview, uh, he had called out champion Patrick Texedia, right? He was ambitious and, and ain't nobody talking about it. And to make that more messed up, I was seeing all these Bernard Hopkins talking about De La Hoya coming back. Look, De La Hoya was talking about Campbell Garcia. There's other interviews that says De La Hoya might make a comeback to the ring. There's interviews from De La Hoya talking about Canelo could fight at Mount Rushmore. There's other interviews that say Bernard Hopkins, his back, he back in AJ to beat Tyson Fury, which is not a, a fight that's happening next. Joshua got to get past his mandatory pool lift. Tyson Fury got to get past Deontay Wilder again. Right. And I'm like, how is there all this golden boy traction and articles? Right. Lemieux and Canelo, you know. De La Hoya might pop back up. De La Hoya says Ryan Garcia is a 50-50 fight. All these things. Hopkins says this. All Golden Boy people. Yet they have not paid homage and respect to 
a fighter that they just lost on their roster. That's crazy to me. That's crazy. And, uh, you know, I don't think that should sit well with anybody. I don't think that should sit well. So, again, me being one with the people, the people's champ, I had to make the video. See, look, Errol Spence says you don't treat black fighters well, right? I had to I had to make this video for the people so people can pay their respects. So please be courteous. Give the family all the um, support that you can. Uh, if you have any fond memories that you'd like to share of Travel Maison, please do that. But I, I just it, it blows my mind how we're talking about um, De La Hoya making a comeback. Look, De La Hoya may be making a comeback and we're just posting like biz Look. Don't be surprised if I challenge the top guys. This is Oscar De La Hoya. This this is the same day. Or actually the day after. Like they said he passed on July 15th. And you know, these articles have all come out. De La Hoya is talking about challenging the, the guys and making a comeback. What about the fighter? You know, what about the fighter? So that that just upset me and, and it hurt my heart that Golden Boy has not released any bit of information any information on one of their own fighters and you know connect to the dots and, and let the the fans know and anybody who was a fan of this kid's career let let them know what happened you get what i'm saying you don't have to go into details but just allow people to you know use your platform to pay their respects that's all we're asking for and then de la hoya is constantly in the past try to throw fishing lines out to get Deontay Wilder and Errol Spence who he, Errol Spence checked him he said you don't treat black fighters well and that plus the golden boy emails where they call Al Heyman the n-word you just seen the recent run up with Fred in the Home Depot and you wonder why people have certain feelings towards how black fighters are treated with certain promoters that's my time rest in peace Travell you know, very unfortunate news. I, I'm not going to act like I knew everything about him, but I have seen him fight and I had to see like recent interviews and stuff. And, you know, he, he's far too young. He was he was 24 years old. Yeah, 24 years old. He just had another birthday. So, you know, just just a sad situation all the way around. But at the time of recording this video, Golden Boy has not released anything. As you guys have seen, everybody else seems to be talking about it on the low like you know the streets is talking about it and golden boy got to do what's right and say something and let people know that they have a fighter that you know is no longer with us it's my time so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing.